David Mackenzie's made a few really good movies over the years. Hell or High Water was pretty much excellent, Startup was pretty good, and I liked Perfect Sense quite a bit. But they're all very different movies. So why not make a historical epic with Chris Pine as a rebel Scotsman? Makes sense to me, right? Speaking of Chris Pine, all I saw the day this came out was headlines about his penis. Yeah, it's there in the distance for a few seconds in one scene. But I doubt I would have even realized he was actually naked if I hadn't seen the headlines. People are so ridiculous. Anyway, the movie takes place in Scotland in the early 1300s. The war between England and Scotland has just ended and peace is on the horizon. Well, of course, that's not the end of it or we'd have a pretty boring movie. But I'm gonna let you find out what happens next yourself. But here's a hint. Outlaw King. So Chris Pine plays Robert the Bruce and he's really good in this. I liked him a lot. He's very subtle and kind of a strong silent type. But it might be my favorite performance of his that I've actually seen ever. And his character is very likable as well. He's a bit of a rebel, but a very stoic and honorable kind of guy. And yeah, this movie grabbed me immediately. The first sequence is so good. It's one long take, at least that's what it felt like. And it just had this great energy and pacing to it. And you get to know all the main characters in just a couple of minutes. And just from that short sequence, you know exactly who they are. Excellent filmmaking right there. And the whole movie's got this very interesting costume design too. I can't remember a period piece that looked like this movie. Everything's kind of simple and almost plain, which is probably more realistic than some of the stuff you see in other movies. And it's not one of these movies where everything's gray and brown and dark either. There's quite a bit of color in this. It's got this kind of earthy color palette to it. I like that, it was very good. And also pretty different from most movies like this. And it's a good looking movie too, and well shot. David Mackenzie knows what he's doing. And the story is interesting too, since you know, I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to Scottish history, so I didn't know what was gonna happen. But turns out it's a bit of an underdog story, and I always love those. I mean, who doesn't? And this same story has been repeated throughout history, over and over again. A small force up against a much bigger one. But with some clever tactics and a little bit of guerrilla warfare, anything's possible. And that last battle in this was impressive. When those horses were riding up, it looked intense. Usually when movies do a scene like that, they have to CGI in a lot of soldiers. And they probably did that in this too. But it looked very convincing. Most of the time it doesn't. You can almost always tell that everything's a little too neat and organized. And they all look a little too similar. But in this, it looked legit. So good job. And I'll be honest, I don't really have any complaints about this thing. Top to bottom, everything's well done. The acting, the characters, they're great. The score's really good too. I like that a lot. The fights are well done. However, for some reason, I still didn't feel that invested in it. And I don't know why. Usually I do. But with this one, I'm really not sure. Something about the writing, I guess. I mean, you never really know what's going on inside Robert's head. So I guess that makes it a bit difficult to get emotionally involved with the story. I don't know, but something was missing. And I feel like it could have been a great movie, but it's still very solid. Very solid on all fronts. And I liked it. I didn't love it though for whatever reason. So would I recommend it? Sure. If you like historical movies, it's definitely worth checking out. So go watch it or don't. I'm not your monarch.